Yeah, Tisha, at Moore Square Station tonight, this is what we typically think about when we think Go Raleigh Transit buses. But what we got to look at tonight, that is the future. It's called Bus Rapid Transit or BRT. And the question tonight is, will people ride it? Let me show you what these BRT buses look like because several cities across the country have already done what Raleigh is about to do. These are sleeker, more modern buses. They almost feel like light rail trains. They travel in dedicated lanes of traffic, making stops at newly built platforms for passengers to get on and off. Your standard bus right now goes about 12 miles an hour. These BRT buses would go 16 to 20 miles an hour. And the buses' computers would talk to the traffic lights to make green lights longer and turn red lights green to keep the buses moving. Now, tonight at the Go Rally Operations Center on Pool Road, the public got its first chance to look at the plan for BRT in Raleigh, and they're being asked to choose which BRT lines would work best in the city. A north-south line that runs along Capitol Boulevard and South Wilmington or South Saunders Street, and an east-west line that runs along New Bern Ave and Western Boulevard. This all comes with a 300 to 400 million dollar price tag, much of it paid for by the half cent sales tax passed in 2016 for the weight transit plan. But will it work given the very car centric nature of the triangle? How are you going to get people out of their cars and onto a bus? Well, that's what the whole weight transit plan is about. It's about building a network of high frequency network service that is operating every 15 minutes or less uh, that makes you want to get out of your car and get in that bus so that we can get you quickly to where you want to go. So bus rapid transit is expected to be up and running by 2025, but tonight everyone walked out of that input session with one of these packets kind of explaining how all this is going to work. Uh, we're going to link to all of this information over on ABC11.com and Go Rally is encouraging everyone to get on that site and, and vote which BRT line works best for them. We're live in downtown Raleigh tonight. I'm Joel Brown, ABC11 Eyewitness News.